In this video, I'll describe the concept of sampling variation, which is also called sampling error, and how it is related to sample size. The research question we'll be thinking about is how far people walk each week. If we think about the entire population, it should be the case that everybody doesn't walk the same number of steps each week. That is, maybe this person takes 56,932 steps in a week, and this person takes 62,157, and this person only takes 49,238 steps, and so on. What we're seeing here is a type of variation called natural variation, the tendency of individuals within a population to have different values of a variable. And when we take a sample from the population, we can see this natural variation from the population also appearing in the sample. And we can estimate this natural variation using measures like the standard deviation or interquartile range. Now, there is another type of variation that is important in statistics. In our sample, we can compute a statistic such as the sample mean. Pause the video for a moment and think about the following question. Is this sample mean equal to the population mean? The answer is, well, we don't know. Because we don't know what the population mean is. We don't have data from the entire population. But it seems unlikely that this sample mean would be exactly the same as the population mean. And this phenomenon is called sampling error, because the sample statistic is not equal to the population parameter. Let's go back to the population and think about this a bit. What if, instead of our original sample, we had randomly selected a different group of 10 people. Then we collected data from everyone in the sample, then looked at the distribution of these data, which would again be a distribution of a sample, and would have its own sample mean. And if we think again about the entire population, we can see that there are many, many possible samples of 10 people we could have randomly selected from the population. And because there is natural variation in the population, each sample will have a slightly different sample mean. Then we could think of the collection of sample means as a set of data itself. And we could look at the distribution of these sample means as a histogram. So each data point in this histogram is a different mean from a 10-person sample. And we can see that different samples have different sample means. This type of variation is called sampling variation, which is the tendency for different samples from the same population to produce different statistics. Sampling variation is produced by a combination of natural variation in the population and the random aspect of the sampling process. And much like the way we measure natural variation using the idea of standard deviation, we measure the amount of sampling variation using something called standard error, which is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. You might be wondering whether you can avoid sampling variation. Alas, the answer is no. As long as there is natural variation in the population and you're taking a sample using a random process, then there will be sampling variation. But you can reduce the amount of sampling variation. Let's think about how to do this. So here is our original 10-person sample. Assuming we used a good sampling method, the mean in this sample will be reasonably close to the mean of the population. But now imagine that we randomly selected 20 people for our sample instead of 10. Since our sample is larger, it should do a better job reflecting the natural variation that is present in the population. Consequently, the mean of a larger sample will be closer to the population mean. Let's think about how this impacts sampling variation. Now, instead of 10-person means, we're going to take samples of size 20 and compute a mean for each sample. And each of these sample means will be closer to the population mean and, therefore, to each other, which reduces the amount of sampling variation. Now, let's recap what we've seen here. We looked at the concept of natural variation among individuals in a population and saw how the combination of natural variation and sampling produced sampling variation. Sampling variation is measured by standard error. And finally, we saw how increasing the sample size reduces sampling variation, and thus the standard error.